right, we are back with the 8 kilowatt here project. Yes, as people pointed out in the previous video, we won't, probably, we won't get 8 kilowatts without adjusting the fueling. But we will get more heat for the same fuel on the same settings. That's, that's layered in the line. We're not, we're not there. We've still got two bits. So I have taken two heat exchangers, cut the end off, the small end. Oh, it's in a bag. Hold on. One moment, please. Until I get the bits. Come here, sharp bits. So, I cut the that bit off of that one. So I chopped that. And I cut the heater, with the fan end, off of the other end, off of that one. And that gets us that one. So we can either make a half kilowatt here and join those two together, or we can make the eight kilowatt and join the big bits together. Uh, that's going to fall on the floor, that's fine. So, I'm going to put in a bit here of me. Cutting the ends off, and then I sat up with a grinder and cleaned, make it all flat, smooth, a little tiny bit of a chamfer, and I didn't film any of that because it's literally me sitting with a grinder and grindering. I have got a bottle of acetone here, pure acetone. I'm going to clean up all of the aluminium and then we're going to try the Lumi weld. I'll just pour a bit into the cap. A little bit of acetone. Not sure how necessary this step is because these tears have, have never run, so, you know, but if we can get more clean, more better. Give it every possible chance of welding together. I did notice when I was cutting, some bits are a lot thinner than others. That's going to focus on the focus. Like some of the sides are quite thick and then you'll get to like a really thin bit. And then that, there's one like that really thick bit goes all the way through the here. Seems like a waste of aluminium, but... You know, ooh, it smells nice. Right. That, I see I've kind of rounded and chamfered that side a little bit just to do as good a job of stickage as we can. And if this doesn't work, we can always fall back on me trying to TIG weld. As funny as that'll be. We'll let this flash off and then hit it with a blowtorch and just burn off anything that's left. Right, which way is up? Where's the sensor? Putting that at the bottom because the other one's on our side so that'll hopefully line that up. Right, put that stone away. Boop. And then take that stone as far away from your ignition source as possible. Because boy is that flammable. Right. I've got gauntlets. Hey, and I brought the clamps in to see if we can clamp it into one piece. Oh, word of note, that I'm not going to bring in to show you this. The heater part, come off, thank you. So, one end, the, it's not, it's uniform, it's tapered. It tapers uh, down the way. So this end of the here is, a, is wider than down at this end. Obviously for moulding reasons, so when you cut it to join it, if you can see, it doesn't quite line up. I mean, I'm going to try my best to get it somewhat square and level. I'm going to use two hands in a second and put you back in the tripod, but it's not, it's not uniform. So we're going to have to work with that. I had it close earlier. It's pretty close once you squash the bits together. And then we'll see if we can get one of these clamps to clamp. Something, something's holding somewhere. I mean, like, do we just, do we just send it? Because that looks pretty good at that. I don't want to pick it up, but I kind of, I mean, it must be sitting. It's, it's not, it's not terrible. It's kind of uniform all the way around the gaps, not gap, but the overhang is kind of 
the same on either side. That maybe just needs a wee, a wee bump that way, like, oh, it's pretty close. Right, I'm tempted to call that good enough and, right, time to fire up the thermal imager. It's going to be on the other side, cause, cause reasons, but, right, thermal imaging. It's still reflecting my reflection of the heat, but it's better. I've got the emiss emissivity set to 0.4, which should be the roughness of aluminium, roughly. Right, the Luma Weld Kit, get you get a stainless brush for removing the aluminium oxide. Not that there should be much, because I only just did the grinding. And then we need to heat it up to 300 to 400 odd degrees and get it to stick. So we have the blowtorch and here we go. And the trick is to heat the aluminium up and then you get the Lumi weld sticks to stick to the metal. You're not melting the stick in yet. Like, I don't know what temperature it... I mean, I could go around and look at what the thermal imager says, but... Let's just see if we can get anything to stick. And yes, I am fully aware that we're heating up a giant heat sink. So this may or may not work at all. And then we have to put the whole thing in the barbecue. I know you can't see a lot, but there's not much to see here. I wish I could see the thermal imager to see if I'm even close to the... I did Google it, and this is still brazing, even though it doesn't involve brass. Brazing is the joining of two metals with a metal with a lower melting point that wets the two metals together without actually fusing the two base metals. Right, okay, well, this is going well. By well, I mean not well. Right, what temperature did that get to in the old thermal imaging? More than 170, so... Thanks, camera, you've been great. Wow, it goes down fast. Yeah, but basically the aluminium's not getting up to temperature. So it won't melt. Like it's kinda working. But I kinda wanted it to wet into place. And it's not doing that. I expected it to go like solder like and flow. Okay, right. I'm going to now see if that has in any way, shape or form joined together. Oh. Or if it well, what I should do is just flip it straight over and do the other side while it's clamped. Let's do that. Ah, oh, if the audio cuts out or if anything cuts out, that's just tough tits. Right, okay. Let's take the clamp off and see if it falls apart. Dun, da da dun, dun, dun. Yes, I know not. I've also still got two sides to go, but here we are. Well, it didn't immediately fall into pieces. Well, safe to say that's not attached to 
anything. Like, what I've done is melt it onto itself. Well, but it seems to have stuck. That, that bit hasn't. Smashing. Why is that bit kind of attached? It's not. Right, okay, well, um, yeah. Lumi weld? Not so much. Okay, here's what I think is the problem, and you can let me know down in the comments what you think as well. So this is a giant heat sink. It is designed to get heat away. So basically we can't get the base metal hot enough with our blowtorch. It basically, as you're heating it, it's losing the heat as fast as it, well, as fast as it can be in aluminium and it's a really good heat sink. So, do we, I mean, nah. I'll maybe try firing up the barbecue and heating it that way. If not, we're gonna try TIG. I know the problem was mostly me, well not, you know what I mean. I wasn't doing as the instructions in the Lumi Welt and the instructional video said, because you need to get the base metal hot enough that as soon as you touch your Lumi Welt stick to it, it just melts, but I can't get it hot enough. There's, I don't have enough. The blowtorch isn't hot enough to get that. The blowtorch and the combination of the heat dissipation of the giant aluminium heat sink, I can't get it hot enough to melt, to tin it, and then build up a layer of the Lumi Weld on the top of it. I mean, this Lumi Weld's probably be able to use it again because you've just basically melted the stick in a different shape. I wonder if you could just remelt them into longer. And anyway, that's they're cheap. Don't I'm not going to recycle them, but yeah, yeah. Ah oh, man, tig's terrifying. I hate tig tig and aluminium. Never, never goes well. But, not got a lot of choices, apart from, I mean, you could be bolted together, I mean, you could be bolted together by gasket, but again, I want a gasket and, you know, a, bur a burning device and carbon monoxide and whatnot, not really. I'd like it if it was a fully airtight joint, man, that's hot, that's gonna be hot for a while. Right, okay, well, um, I'm open to any Comments, suggestions, questions, anything like that, leave them down below. I will try my very best to answer them and I'll read them before I start the ticking process, but I might start the ticking process next week and I might film it. I might not film it because I might just spend my time, you know, spend the time focused on joining the bits of metal together rather than having cameras set up and getting in the way. Uh, anyway, as always, Thanks for watching.